Okay, so we've got all <coughs> green check marks now. In theory, we can submit. But one more thing that we can do is add a video. Uh, and there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, let me show you one, one way here. Um, this, you can look at this if you'd like, or just look at this. Uh, YouTube.com slash PMD Interactive. So this, uh, as, I, as I've said, so I teach this, but we, I'm also part of a company that we do apps and web design and stuff. And over on our YouTube channel, we've got a video where we've got a couple quick commercials for different apps. Uh, let me show you how this one looks like. Let's see if you can do volume here. Okay, so this kind of video is manipulating the app uh, and then recording it. So that's how this one was done. You know, one device to show it and another to record it. And it's got some music and transitions and fades and all of that. This kind of video is one way where you can show off your app, and it's got text and all of that. Uh, we're not going to create uh, this kind of video. This obviously would take a while to do, uh, but this is one possible way. Record yourself using your app. You notice all the lights are off, basically, except for the, the device itself, the light of the device. So that's one way to do it. Um, to add the text and all of that, you need some some video editor software. And if you uh, are are on Windows, so video editor software, on Windows, you can get free Windows Movie Maker. And we have it in, in this lab. I think it's at 110 also, if you're ever there. We have this software to edit movies. Uh, that's a huge discussion on how to do that. We don't have time for it. But I will tell you that if you've got time, this Friday, 9.15 a.m., I'm teaching my social media class. I've been teaching it. And this Friday, we're doing YouTube. I'm going to show how to use Windows Movie Maker to make videos. You don't have to come with a video. I'll give you videos, but we're going to learn how to use Windows Movie Maker, you know, three and a half hours, how to learn Windows Movie Maker. So if you've got the time, I have space, and, and you can come in. What was that there? Yeah, time. What time? 9.15 a.m. This Friday, 9.15 a.m. What classroom? This room, 209. Tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah. Friday already, isn't it? So tomorrow, 9.15 in here in 209 I'm doing my my day on YouTube actually that's gonna be two days uh, this Friday using movie maker to edit a video and next week creating a YouTube channel to upload videos and monetize our videos to make money off of YouTube you can make money off of YouTube so I'm spending two days on that that's my social media class I welcome you to come and uh, there's space I'll just register you tomorrow and then you can be in the class you can do this also on, you know, on, an, on a Mac if you use um, iMovie. So you can use iMovie on the Mac to make, to make videos. These are two free softwares to do that. And obviously the big expensive ones that you might have heard of, Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Vegas, all of that, those are expensive. Those are hundreds of dollars for that software. These two are free. They're not, they're not going to be as powerful as that other software. But most of the videos that I've made for myself for fun 
those that I've made for clients have been edited via Movie Maker or iMovie. So these videos like this one here of 31,000 views that I made uh, was in Movie Maker. Another one for uh, a restaurant client that we have uh, with hundreds of views that was made in iMovie. So you can make very cool videos with that free software. You'll make better videos if you pay for the expensive software and uh, one that's sort of in the middle that is that is a good alternative to these free ones is Adobe Premiere Elements. That one's about, uh, you can get it between about $79 and $99 somewhere around there. I see it for sale at Costco oftentimes that's supposed to premiere the Big Brother, which is like, what, $500? Or part of the larger suite of $49 a month? So if you want more power, more complication, you can go with these. But if you're interested in basic video editing, you can go with those two. Yeah, Element 10. Yeah. Element 10, I think they're on 12 now, so any version works. Right. Any version works. Yes? In your class, are we using this for the video? No, again, I'm going to provide video clips already, and we're just going to learn how to use Movie Maker to edit the movie. So that's one possible way to create videos for your for your apps. You know, here's another variation on it. Let's see after the commercial stuff that's supposed to make you work faster. This is version two of that app. Same music, but this time in a different way here. That's another way to record that, uh, to create a video, which is optional for your for your uploading here. Let me show you another possible way where you can do this. You can actually record what you're doing off of your device, just off of the device, not your finger, not the background, all of that. It's what you're actually doing on the device. This needs some more setup, though, but it might be useful to you. You're going to need a few different pieces of software. So I'm going to say here, video editing software. Uh, I'm going to say um, how to record your apps. One way is point a camera to your device and record. Just like I showed in those examples. Just point some camera at your device, use it, and there it is. That's basically what those commercials that you see on TV for iPhones and Samsungs and such, right? Someone is holding the device right there perfectly steady, a camera's pointing at it, and someone's swiping and clicking and doing all of that. That's what basically what I showed you, but obviously those are <coughs> nicer. And the other way is record off of your device. Actually capture, so record or capture off of your device. That could be also a device. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What I'll show you in a moment uh, can be on an emulated device as well. Now, this one has, however, a bunch of sub-steps. You need a bunch of different software, uh, maybe a couple different software. You need open broadcaster software. That's the name of the software, open broadcaster software. I'll show you where that is in a moment. That's one thing. That's what actually records your voice or the audio or what you're doing on screen. Uh, that's the software that I use in my classes. Every time you see me run this, that's OBS, that's Open Broadcaster. Everything that I'm doing on screen is recorded. There's my voice. You can see the green line right there. So I'm using OBS. The second part then is to use... Okay, so use Open Broadcaster software on your computer, and then Team Viewer on your device. 
Team Viewer is what will then create a live stream from your device to your computer so that then with OBS you record that. And I'll demonstrate that in, in a moment here. Um, but this is, um, this is the software, the two pieces of software here. And then at the end, with, with one or two, then you know, the, the final step is Movie Maker or iMovie. Use Movie Maker or iMovie to then edit it together. Remove your mistakes, add extra music, add text, whatever. That's what we'll be learning on, on Friday if you come to Friday. But these are the two different ways where you can record some video for your app. And again, it's totally optional. But if you do include this, this is more of a commercial, of an incitement, of an enticement for people to download your app. Especially if you've built like a great game or you know an app that might be a little complex and you want people to understand how it works. It could be good for search because if you upload it over to YouTube, like the example that I showed up here, now now, if, when you've got it up on YouTube and someone searches, they could find your app. So, I don't believe your computers have this. I think only my instructor's computer has it. But uh, if you want to do this at home, you can get the software for free, obsproject.com. It's free, it's open source, it's for Windows, it's for Mac, for Linux. So you can download that for free. Read the manual because it does need a little setup. That's what records. See people, they're advertising it here for video games and such, but this will record anything off of anything, basically. So that's what I use to record the, my lectures. The second piece of the puzzle is Team Viewer. If you go to teamviewer.com, you can get Team Viewer for your device or for your computer. This is great software for, like, let's say you need to do tech support for someone and you don't want to go to their house. You have Team Viewer installed on their computer, and then you'll be able to see their computer from your computer and even control their computer from your computer. So someone's saying, my internet's broken, help me. Or, you know, Photoshop doesn't work, help me. You can use Team Viewer to log into their computer remotely and control their, their mouse and help them. And you also have Team Viewer for mobile. If you get Team Viewer for, for your mobile device, you can then... Um, You get it for, for your Android, your iPhone, etc. You get it for your mobile device. And then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to see, at minimum, you'll be able to see what the device is doing. And then depending on the device, you'll be able to control the device from a computer. So just to fully demo this. I'm going to do that in the background. Uh, I'm going to run Team Viewer on my device here, and then I'm going to connect to it from this computer. My device is saying that I have this unique number here. Is 
should be using your device's uh, Wi-Fi connection or cellular connection? Yes. I've got this because it has it's a non-contract phone, so I'm using the Wi-Fi. It needs some sort of internet access to to log into it. So right here, this is live. I'm actually swiping on my real device, and I'm seeing you know every every actual screen here. And so I've got um, the app that we've installed here. So I'm actually seeing live really the <coughs> everything that I'm doing on the device via Team Viewer. So then I would couple that over here with Open Broadcaster to actually record it and then that'll create a video. That'll create a video of me using my app and talking about it and all of that for the optional step to um, probably logged me out already, but the optional step there to upload a, a video. So the open broadcaster is the recorder and the team viewer is the recorder. Say that one more time. The team viewer is the is the yes, how you said it, the, the broadcaster. Mm -hmm. So this does need a little bit of setup, but then you could um, right there. So I actually have the app there and uh, I'm, running, I'm running it here and whatever I'm doing on my device is being recorded by, by Open Broadcaster and that could be my video.